Hi and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little vlog today, maybe over the next two days, because uh, I haven't done that in a while and I felt like doing that today. So here we go. I don't know what this is going to be about, but I guess we'll find out together. So yeah, it is Thursday today. It's actually already almost time for me to go and get the boys, but I spent the morning out doing some errands. So yeah. That's what I spent the morning doing. I had to get a birthday present for a party that Tobias is going to tomorrow. I'm not sure if I should include things like this in my everything I bought in a month video. Uh, let me know if you think that I should add things that I buy for other people to that video. But I'll show you here because I'm not going to have it when I film the video next month, obviously. But Tobias got invited to uh, one of his friends from school's birthday party. And usually I just get a book voucher. That's kind of my go-to. But he said that she really liked making friendship bracelets, like most of the world at the moment. Uh, so I just went down to Kmart. I got a little uh, gift bag that I don't write on or anything so that the mum can reuse it for another gift. I figured that's better than wrapping paper that she's just going to throw out. Uh, if she's that way inclined, she can keep it for another gift or just recycle it because it's just paper. I got this little sticker book the little girl's uh, birthday invitation was all unicorns so i took that to mean that she likes unicorns so i got a little book of stickers and then yeah because device is said that she likes making friendship bracelets i just got this little pack of beads just a small one they had really big ones as well but again minimalism i'm not trying to give this mum a whole bunch of stuff that she has to deal with so i thought this little small pack was quite cute so i got that and it was under ten dollars that's Pretty much what I like to spend for kids' birthdays is 10 to $20 at the most. Uh, so yeah, and then what else did I get? I went to the supermarket and just had to pick up a couple of things and I got a new cereal. So if you're not new to my channel, you'll already know this, but we do new cereal Saturday for the boys every Saturday. And it actually usually lasts one box, lasts two Saturdays. So I guess it's every fortnight. But I've had a really hard time finding new cereal for us to try. I feel like we've just tried everything, so I have been rotating back to ones we like. Uh, the boys have to have uh, wheat bix and fruit or porridge or toast on weekday mornings, but every Saturday they get something fun. Uh, so this one's actually not too bad. It's four health star ratings, which is kind of the rating that we have here in New Zealand for food, even though it's probably full of sugar. But yeah, I've never seen this one before, so if you're in New Zealand, and you're looking for a new cereal, if you do fun cereal Saturday like we do, uh, it's this tiny teddy one. I don't know if the boys will like it, but they'll be excited to have a new one because I've really been struggling uh, to find a new one. And then the last thing I did was actually get some jeans. So I wasn't planning on buying jeans today, but if you watch my last video, you'll know that I was looking out for a dark pair of jeans to replace one of my older pairs. And yeah, I found some. So I went to Posty Plus, which is kind of my go to if I'm not looking at thrift stores I usually go there for jeans because I find them to be inexpensive but last really well uh, one of my other pairs is from Posty Plus and I've had that that's the one that just got the hole in the knee I've had, had that for probably two two and a half years now and I wear them all the time so I really like their quality and I found some I'll grab the tag in case you live in New Zealand and you want to know what they were uh, so I'm a size 10, Australian 10, I don't know what that is in other countries. They're highway straight, uh, non-stretch denim. I really like non-stretch because I find that they don't lose their shape um, so quickly. And it has tummy control pocketing, which is something I really like in Posty Plus jeans. Let me see if I can kind of give you an idea of what they look like. Okay, so this is kind of an awkward angle. Just imagine that they go down to my ankles. I really like that because I'm short and if I get regular jeans, then they drag on the ground and I, I hate that, I hate that. So they go up to my <laughs> ankles, this is a lovely angle, but they are high waisted. So after two pregnancies and two cesareans, uh, I really like having a bit of tummy control and I find that these ones really work. If I don't have that uh, tummy control, I definitely have like a little pouch which is fine i've had two kids but these really suck it in and they're comfortable so yeah really happy to find those they were uh 39 which is 
honestly probably the maximum amount I would spend on a pair of jeans <laughs> because as you know I like to get most of my stuff from a thrift store um, but I'm happy to spend $39 I know if these are like the other ones I've had from Posty Plus that they'll last a really long time so happy to find those uh, then this morning I also uh, when I got home sat down and finished my lento sweater I've been really busy sewing and things uh, for my little felt store uh, which I'll leave linked down below, I sell project bags. But I've been really busy with that and just keeping up with the house that I decided today when I got home from running my errands that I would just sit down and finish my lento sweater. And I did that. I played a really dangerous game of yarn chicken and almost ran out of the mohair, but I had just enough. So then, yeah, I decided that while I still had time in the day, I would block it and pin it. I did stretch this out. A little bit. I haven't done that yet with my knitwear but I did just want it a touch longer in the body and the sleeves. It is meant to be cropped so I didn't do it a lot uh, and then I hung it up and now I have to put it up high otherwise Luna will jump on it so if I leave it on the kitchen island or anything or on the floor she will definitely jump on it and sleep on it and do all sorts of stuff so I do have to put it up high on my clothes area but I will hopefully be able to show you that on tomorrow. It's a pretty warm day today so I think it will dry and yeah so I thought I would also just while I'm talking about knitting share with you what I use to block my knits and this is my sister's idea so she just bought this from Kmart and I think it's used for rinsing like your vegetables and things you can fit it in your sink but it has a little inner colander and then a bottom that has a plug which is really handy because you can open up the plug and then push uh, all the water out of your knitwear rather than like pulling it up and down and dragging it around so I will leave this link down below if I can I think it was about $13 and it's definitely worth the investment because hopefully I'm gonna have a lot of things to hand wash so yeah and then to do my blocking my sister I'm gonna show two more things from here uh, she gave me this for Christmas the soak and it's in the fragrance fig which smells really good and I think this will last me at least a few years because you only use a couple of drops so I'll leave this link down below and then the last thing I wanted to show you was something else that my sister gave me for Christmas and we've kind of started a little tradition of giving each other handmade things I don't know I'm already out of ideas because I'm not very good at making things uh, but she uh, made me this really beautiful uh, I think it's called a fob uh, and she gave me these embroidery scissors and this is what it looks like so cute and it says 2023 on it in my favorite color green so I've really been loving keeping this uh, with my current project and using them so yeah that was my day so far and now I need to do a little bit of dinner prep before I go and get the boys we're having chicken burgers tonight and for those, all I do is cut up some chicken tenderloins and I marinate them in a bit of lemon juice and olive oil, garlic and thyme. And I just did that this morning before I took the boys to school. And that's sitting in the fridge. The other thing I did was I made some dough. So I am trying a new recipe. This is from the King Arthur website. And I will leave the recipe I use linked down below and I'll put across the screen here if it was good or not or I'll let you know tomorrow but I made the dough and it's just been rising this makes eight buns so I should be able to have four tonight and put four into the freezer so I need to separate this uh, into the actual bun so they can rise while I get the boys and then the other thing I have to do is just make the fries so all I do for that is I get some agria potatoes and I just cut them up and I put them into a bowl of water and I think that helps I don't know, I could be wrong about this, but it helps get rid of some of the starch and makes them cook up a lot uh, kind of softer in the middle. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I just cook uh, the potatoes in the oven, the chicken in a fry pan, and we'll have it with some aioli. Sometimes I add bacon to the burger, so I'll see if I have any of that in the freezer. And I am trying to use up the vegetables that I have. So we have one lowly uh, capsicum here. So I'm going to chop this up for another vegetable to go uh, along with it. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And I will take you along with me for the next couple of days.
Okay, so it's a couple of days later now. Uh, that's fine. I want to continue on the vlog. I feel very windswept because it's so windy here at the moment. And if you live in New Zealand, you already know that Wellington is known for its wind. It's windy here 365 days <laughs> out of the year, I feel like. Uh, so yeah, I'm having my coffee. I am actually helping out at Tobias's school today. So in about 20 minutes, I have to leave to do that and that will take an hour, an hour and a half. So I'm having my coffee so I have the energy to be around a whole bunch of six and seven year olds. And I just wanted to show you my lento sweater because it's all dry now. It still smells like sheep. I think it's the mohair. It's like the sheepiest sweater I've made so far, but I really like it. It's kind of cozy. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I will try it on. I am wearing leggings today, so this isn't how I would normally wear it. I would definitely wear it with my high-waisted jeans, but I'll show you. So I did block out the sleeves a little bit. Before blocking, they were probably about there, which I think is what the pattern uh, recommends, but I just wanted them a touch longer. And then, oh, my shirt's going in my copy. And then, yeah, you wouldn't be able to see a t-shirt normally because they would be with high-waisted, <laughs> or I'd be wearing it with my high-waisted jeans. So I really like it, it's so soft. I would definitely use this mohair again. I will link it down below. And the Prosper yarn, the fairy bread is so cool. I love the speckling. Yeah, I love everything about it. So I'm really hanging out. Just take it off. I'm really hanging out for the warmer, warmer, for the cooler weather so I can wear my sweaters. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put this one back on. I wanna update you on the burger recipe. It was really good. Um, they turned out really well. I think they were just a bit small because Lachlan and Mike both had two of them. So I didn't have enough to put in the freezer for a second meal, which is what I was hoping I'd be able to do. So next time I think I will let them rise for longer. I think that's why. So but otherwise they were really good. The boys really liked them. Uh, yeah. So now I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to go and uh, do the thing at Tobias's school. I'm going to take a knitting project with me. I've done this uh, two times so far and there's a bit of time in the middle where they don't actually need the parents. They just want us to hang around to wait at the end. So I'm going to take a knitting project. That's what I've been doing. And I'm going to take this scrappy blanket, which I've just been making out of scrap yarn, as the name suggests. And this is really mindless. It's just garter stitch. So I don't have to think at all. So I'm going to take that with me to do. And then I need to go to the post office. And then when I get home, I need to do some cleaning. So I'm going to share, I can't remember if I've shared this before on my channel, but I do have a new cleaning method, which still relates to the fly lady kind of very loosely. And I may be repeating myself, but that's okay. But I will show you that when I get home. Right now I'm going to finish my coffee and go out into the wind with a whole bunch of little kids. <laughs> Okay, so this is a lovely angle. I'm just putting on my shoes and getting ready to go. But I remember that I did want to share something, a little tip that I have that I've uh, been doing probably for the last year now. I definitely did it last year when the boys were at school. But that is that uh, if we have a bit of a rough start to the morning, like I've had to hurry someone along or uh, for example, this morning Lachlan couldn't find his watch and he's very particular about having his watch for school and we've had it a lot where he can't find it in the morning so a little while ago I said that he has to be responsible for it and he has to put it somewhere he can find it all that stuff anyway he couldn't find it this morning he got a little bit stressed out and he found it eventually but yeah that was something and Tobias was just a little bit slow going and found it a little bit hard to get ready this morning and one thing I always do because I never want them to go into school in a bad mood. I never want their like to walk into the classroom and they feel stressed or anxious or anything like that. So one thing we've been doing is we leave a little bit early. We do drive to school so I guess that helps. Uh, we just so anyway <laughs> um, what we do is I 
get there a little bit early and we sit in the car and we watch about five minutes of something funny and it's usually on YouTube the channel Rockstar Voiceovers and he's a guy that finds animal videos of pets and things and then does really funny voiceovers of them and the boys find it so hilarious and I just find that that five minutes of just laughing together before they go into school breaks the tension of anything that's happened in the morning and, and they go into school laughing with a big smile on their face of course there's still some mornings where they're upset and that's okay uh, but it definitely helps most mornings just go in especially if they've been fighting with each other or something it really just breaks the tension in the air and means that they go into school feeling happy and yeah it's something that we do together every morning and they really love it so there's a little tip in case you have a bit of a stressful morning but you don't want your kids you don't want that to be the final kind of feeling that they feel when they leave you in the morning i definitely recommend the channel rockstar voiceover to kind of get them in a good mood before they go to school so yeah that's my little tip let me know if you do anything like that in the morning to just make sure that they head into school uh, with a kind of a happier vibe uh, but yeah i need to finish my coffee and i need to go <laughs> So I'm back home again now and I'm about to do my cleaning for the day and like I said I wanted to mention kind of a routine change up that I've been doing that I may have already mentioned so hopefully <laughs> this is new information but I've been using this Sweepy app and this is not sponsored or anything the app is free I think uh, like most apps there's probably another level that you could pay for but I don't pay for it and yeah it's just Sweepy so S-W-E-E-P-Y uh, I get it off the Apple store but I'm guessing it's on Android as well. And all it is, is an app that divides your cleaning up into rooms. So like the zone method, you could have zone one, zone two, or have it by rooms. And then also inside each rooms, uh, you can list all the jobs. But the thing I really like about it, which was kind of one of the not so great things about the fly lady method, is that I was cleaning things that were already clean with the fly lady method and with this app I can say that some jobs only need to be done every two weeks or once a month or every three months so when I, it's my time in the zone or when I'm ready to do some cleaning I can just see the jobs that actually need to be done and then the other jobs will filter through the ones that need to be done monthly or weekly or fortnightly so I really recommend it uh, have a look at it I think it's pretty good and you could definitely use it not for zone cleaning. You could just use it to keep track of your regular cleaning as well. I just think it's a really easy app to use. It's really simple. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So today I'm in the kitchen and I'm gonna be doing my kitchen drawers. So I'll do a quick little before and after of that. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now before I have to drive all the way back to school and pick the boys up. So these are the drawers I'm gonna be working on. I'll quickly show you, I think this one's pretty messy it definitely gets lots of crumbs and things just from uh when i wipe the bench and just people taking things in and out so i need to do that my spice and tea drawer is looking a little rough so that definitely needs to be cleaned out uh, the tea towel drawer just needs to be folded a bit nicer and then the boys art and craft drawer i'll just go through and get rid of any loose papers that they don't need anymore and tidy that up so it closes easily for them and there's not too much stuff in there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm guessing it's gonna take me about 15, 20 minutes at the most. Uh, so I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, and here's the after. It's always satisfying to see the nice clean after. So I did my cutlery drawer. This drawer still has quite a lot in it, but it's very functional like this. It has my spices and teas and extra tools that I use for baking in it. So it still looks a little bit chaotic, but that's how it works. And my uh, tea towel drawer, I keep my scales in there as well. My dishcloths and then the boys little craft drawer. Okay, and now that I'm done with my cleaning, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I kept your company while you've had your morning coffee or your nighttime tea. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.